Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Finds of Yesterday and check out all this jewelry at this rummage sale I went to. There was so much, I ended up coming home with $167 worth of jewelry. Most of it was fashion jewelry, so more modern, but I did end up with some really great vintage pieces. So let's find out what I found. hundred and sixty seven dollars worth of jewelry yet here's a better picture all this one place hundred and sixty seven dollars worth and she wrapped my necklaces somewhat individually in paper which was really nice let's go through it and see what I found so here's all the necklaces that I got. Quite a few. I'm really excited about all these. They didn't have a whole lot of vintage pieces, but there is a couple pieces throughout. So let's start over here and go through these. First one, totally excited about. Let me get the plastic off of this. That didn't help very much. This is actually a Trafari stained glass necklace, and I found it at the very end when I was standing in line. So I was excited about that it has matching earrings i'm not sure of the value of these but i know they're worth a lot more and it also has this stained glass it's either a necklace or a sun catcher i think you could use it for either or next to it we have a japan um, three-layered necklace next to that is this pretty glass um no, they're acrylic, I'm sorry, but it's an interesting fashion piece. It's three layers, three shades of turquoise color. Just a really unique, fun fashion piece. And we have this, it's fairly inexpensive pearl necklace with matching earrings and nice clasp on it. Next to this, we have another pearl necklace. And I love when they put these AB rhinestone or AB glass beads in between because that really makes it um, sparkle. Next to that is an acrylic lucite beaded necklace, probably from the 70s, maybe 80s. And next to that is this real long brown glass beaded necklace. It is long and it comes with matching earrings. Nice piece. This piece next to it, it this one is a vintage piece lovely lovely little rosettes it does have some verdigris on it it will need to be shined up two dollars and it has a hook clasp on the end that kind of gives it away that it's vintage because of the type of hook clasp next to this i probably wouldn't have picked this up but when you're in a mad rush of people and you're trying to grab things before they do this was these are acrylic and i thought they were glass but and it's kind of a coppery color in real life because I thought it was gold tone um, it's it's wearing thin so I probably wouldn't have picked that up but that's all right and then we have these glass beaded with wood beads necklace real pretty blue this is a nice um, quality one and this is one of my favorite pieces look at this little open bezel glass beaded flower pendant hanging from um, an open bezel black necklace with matching earrings really cute piece it is on a hook clasp so I, bl I believe it is vintage and then we have mother of pearl necklaces i never pass up mother of pearl necklaces i sell them all the time and this piece is a layered, it's a fashion necklace, meaning it's from more modern times. But I believe these are quartz beads. And they kind of have a uh, like a smoky color to them. I really like that piece. I don't pick up a whole lot of fashion pieces unless I really like them. This one kind of blends in with the countertop. But it is fairly long and it is glass beads. And it just has so much sparkle to it. And layered. Love it. I love open bezel necklaces. See how it's got the marquee bezels? 
and this one's long. You can layer it. I love when they have the, give you options that you can layer. This is another fashion piece that I questioned whether or not to pick it up. It's $2, and they are glass. There might be some acrylic mixed in there. Another open bezel. These are clear glass stones. Nice piece. It came with a bracelet. And then we have this mother of pearl kind of spiky necklace. That one will do well. And I have this blue. These are stones. If you look closely, you can see it's a stone. Not sure what stone it is. It might be a dyed stone too, but it's really nice rectangle shaped beads. I love that piece. I believe it's vintage as well. And then we have this green glass layered necklace. This one is a fashion piece. It's Liz Claiborne. It's all tangled up, but it has two layers. Nice piece. And then next to it, we start getting into Monet and Napier. There's some pieces that I was excited to find. Here's a Monet like um, sand dollar on a real shiny silver necklace and it has the Monet hang tag. Here's a piece I forgot to get out. It's got bar beads and round beads. I wondered if it was sterling, but I, it doesn't look like it to me, but these are still fun, fun um, necklaces to layer with other necklaces. And we have another Monet with the white enamel. These are so fun. And oh, I just realized it has the bracelet to match. That's even better yet. And look how it has on the bottom, it has partial gold. That just adds so much. They just, can you imagine if it was just all white as compared to half gold? That just gives it some flair and some excitement. That's Monet for you. And here we have a glass beaded rosary and a Jesus little uh, rosary box, which I thought was just adorable. I had to pick that up. And here's another Monet. It's one of their enamel ones. And a Mother of Pearl double layered chip beaded necklace. And here's another gemstone necklace. This one's long. Nice. It's just um, beaded. There's no pendant on the end. And then right here, this was interesting. I bought both of these pieces separately. The, the, the necklace was $4 and the bracelet was 2 so that was a pretty good deal. Nice choker, heavy duty. And we have another couple Monet and Napier gold chains. I always pick them up. I sell them quite frequently. And then over here is sterling pieces. They had these in a case and they only had $5 on them, which I thought was pretty good. There's some sterling earrings with rhinestones, little hearts. And this one was $7, and it came with three pairs of earrings in it. The other one's behind the black card. And then, oh, this pearl one. These are real pearls and a sterling clasp. And they're all knotted and graduated, so that was nice. That was $5. And we have a little ring that has abalone in it and it's set in sterling handmade it's a little flower sterling silver necklace and that's it on the necklaces i think i did pretty good at this sale on necklaces i'm going to count these all up at the end and we'll see how many i actually got all right i have some brooches here and one necklace set that i forgot to show earlier with the necklaces. It is a clip earring set, cloisonne or enamel with a heart pendant on a gold chain. Pretty nice. Over here we have a little poodle puppy brooch mm -hmm. and it is handmade. You can see um, this older pin on it most of the time when there's a bar across the bottom of the pin like across there it is newer but in this case there's no holes in it 
so that pretty much means it's it's older and it's soldered on it's not glued on so that's always good and a lot of times you'll see that in handmade pieces as well and up here we have this nice wooden carved flower I believe this is like uh, celluloid on top of wood and the back just looks like this you can see how that one is glued on it's a little, probably a little newer piece maybe so that's probably plastic it might even be molded then up here we have a scarf clip some of these came together in one lot this little butterfly is a cheap little enamel butterfly but I bought it with it, it came with these three right here and this little butterfly I seen in there I almost thought it might be gold but they said they tested everything they supposedly got everything out that wasn't gold or sterling that was all separate but this little butterfly when you turn it on the back it's so shiny so pretty I almost want to still test it but if you look on the pin let me set it down so it's not shaken and there's a little word on the on the pin here and if you look closely it's upside down it says cremens that is a little cremens butterfly and that is a great little piece and I got the whole set for two dollars for the three pieces and this nice little wreath uh, brooch here is got some pretty orange looking AB rhinestones in it and I thought that would make a nice little fall brooch and then we have that one again and these two came together these are both vintage very unique pieces the one on the right has some fabric flowers which is very different and it has some tarnished chain on it and the back has filigree but it looks like at one time they replaced the pin and did a sloppy glue job which I couldn't see that until it was till I opened it up because it was on a brown card and then this piece right here is a nice little hat it's all metal all the little flowers are metal little pearl accents let's flip it over you can see it's got a 1950s pin on it and it needs a good cleaning but I think I'm gonna leave that up to the buyer because they might like it like that so that's the brooches that I got not too many brooches at all and here's the bracelets that I got you can see they're bagged together I got a lot of these um, because there might be one piece inside the bag that I wanted and they were only two dollars a bag so let's go through them okay I have them all spread out here let's start on this end these are all the cheaper plastic on the very end here that were thrown in with the other stuff that I wanted this one I love it's an asymmetrical lucite bracelet it's got the wider end and I just love them they sell fairly good for me this is like a cool 1970s uh, it's like a spiral bracelet but the inside as you can see is kind of worn but the outside is still in really good shape and it's got this interesting design to it with these little balls one on this side and one on this side I think I'm still gonna sell it um, but I'm gonna put that it's got some wear on the inside this was thrown in with a lot this is actually a cuff bracelet and it is a trafari really nice piece see how it's gold and silver and it is marked on the hinge inside there I don't think they seen that but I don't think they would have put a higher price on it because of that it's hard to see on the camera and this piece was all by itself it's a Napier very nice gold pebbled bangle bracelet that I will sell by itself and I always love these this looks like it might be glass but it almost looks like it could be a stone and it's on the expandable bracelet I like picking up expandable bracelets and especially with these little dangles people love them this one 
actually I thought I was going to throw it in the scrap lot and the more I looked at it I believe this is real skin is it snake skin but look at here's the edge it's not on a very nice gold uh, cuff but I believe that's real skin what do you think let me know in the comments below but again it's on see how that looks right there but it's on a crappy cuff tarnished um, bracelet then this one was thrown in with another lot it looks it doesn't look like black stone it kind of has a transparency about it and it's on fairly nice cuff but cheap metal this one was nice etched silver and it says on the inside carnation and it's pewter 900-1 and it's got this lovely etched and there's a name for the where they put the black inside of the etching to make the design stand out I can't think of it at the moment there's a name for that then we have these two lovely white lucite swirl this one's swirl look closely it's got kind of a almost like a painted design on it I thought it was so unique I had to get it frosted I might put it up with this one or try to find something a little more similar and then we have these enamel um, I guess you call them cup or bangles they have the hinge on them some of them you just pull apart like this one but some of them have a clasp that one you just pull apart this one actually has a, a safety chain and a clasp this is a nicer one has a nice enamel uh, flowers distinct flowers and butterflies on it and this one has some type of Asian motif and then this one I picked up this was only a dollar with another bracelet and it is plastic but it is carved and I think somebody's gonna want that to layer with other bracelets it's a unique piece then over here I have several different pieces that are mother of pearl inlaid we got two four six of them but I wanted to show you this one actually still has the piece in it but it fell out and I wanted to show you how these are laid separately when you look at it as a whole you you can't really tell and they're pretty smooth you, you can feel a little bit of an edge but this is how they're put in hand pieced usually on brass and I've got this style which looks more like abalone and some other pearl and then this one oh sorry this one is unique it's got some brown swirls in it not sure what that is if that's a type of mother of pearl but it's dome kind of a dome shape and we got a white one and a blue one which I may put these two together it's fun to layer these as well so that's it on the bracelets moving on to earrings Okay, here's our earrings and a lot of these came in bags for two dollars a piece for two dollars for a set of like six so let's start up here I think these six came together and I think the reason I got these was because these middle ones over here are trafari and these are really fun dangle almost ethnic looking but I'll definitely try to sell them and these cloisonne ones or um, enamel ones will be um, decent to sell and these I thought were pretty interesting too I'll sell them and these star ones look like possibly a handmade piece I could be wrong but they're no name but I still like them so I got quite a bit out of that one pack this pack has the abalone ones that I definitely will try to sell 
some nice ones. The other ones are just kind of your modern um, enamel and gold tone. This piece right here I might be able to pair up with a gold necklace. And up here, this one was full of some interesting ones. I'll definitely try to sell the ones on the right. They have little like bell dangles. And then the ones, the flower ones in the middle here are a brand I never heard of before. It's called Bed, B-E-D, like I'm going to bed. So I'm going to sell them individually. And if you see a little pink sparkle in these, that's from my shirt reflecting off of them but they are pure silver or not pure silver but they're silver these black ones are made in austria so i believe they're glass and i love these these are so cool little flowers spiky almost like dandelion um and then we have some hoops so that one i think i'll do well with so this set i bought because there's some Sarah Coventry, which are these gold hoops down here. And there's three sets of Trafari on here. Do you know which ones are, th are the three? It's the black large ones, these over here, and these down here. They're all Trafari, so that's always a good brand to sell. Up here we have, this was a combination, I think, with these. These are some Moon Glow ones which I always like. The stone ones, yeah, they're okay. Pearl ones are okay. This one is Avon, but up here there was two sets of Moon Glow, but the more I look at it, the bottom ones are Moon Glow. The top ones are just a, almost like a butterscotch acrylic looking. Really cool. They might be Bakelite. Kind of, I don't think they are, but they, they might. I'll have to test them. This set right here I bought because of the crystal ones. Everybody loves bling. And the blue ones on the right here are Monet. And the red ones are pretty too with the cabochon, the um, center, center cabochon. This set of four I bought for one pair of earrings, which is these. They look artisan made to me. They're screw backs, they're, so they're older. And these other three are a little bit cheaper ones. Then this set of black with a black background on it. And the Christmas wreaths I bought for two pairs, which is this one up here. Looks like carnelian to me, and they're older. And this blue one is older. It looks like sea glass. And these little drops over here, they have verdigris on them, but they look like they might be a name brand too. Then over here, this all came together, not the top ones, just these one, two, three, four, five of them. And I'll probably sell these individually, the threaded ones. And the rest of these are Monet and Trafari, not the silver ones. The top ones is Majorica, as you can see here. And these are pearl and they're marked on the back beautiful set of clip earrings so that's the earrings that oh I didn't go through these this is a nice set of five the heart ones are old let me turn it over they're screw back the other ones are clip this set right here is a nice set I'll definitely try to sell them they are clip, but no name brand. The leaves are really nice and vintage. Looks like it might be missing a rhinestone. And then the main reason I got it was for these moon glow pieces. Nice little set there. Okay, so that's all the earrings that I got. Moving on to my bags. All right, I got six bags of jewelry. Most of them were $5 a piece, and this one was $3. And this, I just wanted to show you, is all these uh, chandelier crystals. It looks like different sizes in there. I'm going to sort them and sell them in groups. This is a great find for $3 a piece. Anytime I see these, I pick them up. Great pieces. Let's open up the other bags. 
and see what's in it. Most of these look like necklaces, but this one over here is a bunch of miscellaneous pieces. And there's look like one really good piece in here that I'm excited to show you. And let's open them up individually and see. Okay, so here's bag number one. Lots of necklaces. This one's really pretty. It's got some glass beads on it. And it's got a lobster claw clasp, so it's newer. And it's got a textured chain, which is not worth a lot, but maybe $15. But this is what drew my attention to this bag, is this pendant here. It's interesting, and it's on an older, looks like paper clip or cable chain. But here's what the back of the pendant looks like. It's a relief of a woman, and it has little black rhinestones all the way around. I think that's adorable. I think somebody might like that. And then we have two black acrylic necklaces that are newer. They both have lobster claw clasps on them, but I believe that these are still good sellers. They're not worth a lot, but again, maybe $15. I might even put them together. Then these other, there's three pieces here that are sets, and they're just average Joe necklaces. And I'll throw them in a, a lot, probably. And this one as well, it's nicer. It's got some, some nice weight to it, but I don't know that I'll sell it individually. Okay, next bag. Bag number two. Start over here. There's two cheaper necklaces on the end. Orange and a turquoise acrylic beaded one get, will get thrown in a lot. This third one, this white one, has a barrel clasp on it that has some problems, but I might throw it in with some other necklaces that are very similar and disclose that. This red one's just a cheaper red one as well as this double layered, or you could probably triple layer this long red beaded one. And then this black and white one is also a cheaper one. This red one next to it with the little gold accents is a little bit nicer. I might throw that in with some other beaded ones that are nicer. And then we got this huge medallion with a paper clip or a cable chain. And it's got a fold over clasp on the end. Some people call it a snap clasp. And I'm not sure, this is older, but I'm not sure anything about it. It's, it's kind of rough, kind of a cheaper made one. Then we have a napier in yellow and yellow seems to be trending higher right now so look for yellow in your wardrobe and white with um, gold beads this one is a monet i will throw that in with some nicer necklaces after i clean it up we have a pretty uh heart glass hand blown glass um, handmade pendant on a black cord which I might sell I might sell it I might throw it in with some other glass um, pendants this next one is a Japan that one's nice that is vintage very nice and the last one we have is a West Germany one double layered acrylic beaded this is nice I mean it's acrylic beads it's not glass but it is it is a nicer one so the Japan one the West German one will get sold and then these two in the middle the white and the yellow will get sold probably separately or thrown in with a couple similar ones and the heart one same thing so that was the second bag bag number three on the left here we have an abalone shell necklace and earring set I'll probably try selling that the shell is always good to sell last two are the best two out of this bag and the red one is the reason I bought the bag I realized there is coral in this bag and it is a nice coral piece and I believe that's onyx on the bottom it does need cleaned up it, lo it looks like it has little nicks but I think it's just dirty 
but if you look closely at these pieces you'll see that they're coral look at the ends of them and they have these little natural um, flaws if you want to call them that like in here you can see some little spots and the ends a lot of times you can see look at that one there's a string in there let's see how they they've got different different ends if they were acrylic they would all be smooth and they wouldn't have the flaws like this they have these little like bumps like like um, they're ready to start growing out another branch there's a good end this is coral and it's thick and it's polished and it's on a uh, lobster claw class so it is newer but it's a great piece that was great find for five dollars and then we have a west german one with a box class the only problem is it's missing a cabochon bead on the end which i might be able to find one and just glue it on but it is stamped hong kong I don't know if it's going to be worth my time, but it's a nice layered disc beaded necklace. Bag number four. Start off here. This is five layers of shell beads. I guess they're little, they almost look like little snails. I know the Hawaiian puka shells are popular and expensive and people are seeking them but I don't know enough about the shell beads to know what these are or if they're if they have any value but I'll probably try selling them all together this was worth the bag right here is these are all extender chains for necklaces they had a bag of gold ones and a bag of silver ones I use these all the time if a necklace is really short I'll just throw that on the necklace when I sell it and I do sell them individually as well so that was a great find in there this next one is like a really long silver cable chain and you could quadruple it I have it layered here four times and this piece has got some red enamel on it and it's on a gold tone curb chain Let's see if I can find the clasp there's the clasp there's a fold over clasp and it's not marked, but it's a nice gold chain with some red accents. And next to it, this one is signed, but I don't recognize the, the jewelry mark on it. So it's a newer style. And next to it is just a cheaper black enamel chain with some interesting little bar links on it. This heart one's probably going to get thrown in a scrap lot, as well as this next one, which is the wire things. These things bend so easy. I do not like them at all. But this is the reason I bought this bag, because I've seen this in here. And it is a trafari. It has a hook clasp on the end. And these little enamel pieces are going to need to be cleaned up pretty well, because they look pretty dirty. And I debated about buying it, because they look pretty dirty, and I hope it comes clean. But here's the mark, Trafari, with the copyright symbol. So between that Trafari piece and the extender chains over here is definitely worth buying. It also came with these two bracelets. This one is a memory wire. This one's just cheap acrylic, some cheap little plastic things, and this one is broke. So that's the extent of this bag. Now we're going to open up the big bag of miscellaneous stuff. I forgot one piece in here it's this bracelet with the fetish birds in mother of pearl that was the other reason I bought this bag unfortunately it is not silver I thought it might be but it is not but I'm still gonna sell that separate so good find and here's the last bag we had some belt buckles and a watch band belt buckles were the best thing in there i was excited to see this one because of this stone in the middle isn't that an awesome belt buckle i love that piece and this is a colorado one it says 1876 to 
1976 and it is signed by Century 1974 in Bloomfield, Colorado and it's Centennial. Then I bought this other last bag for 50 cents. It has these glass beaded ornaments that are so cute. They need to be reshaped and they're on wire, but they were shoved in a bag, so they just need to be reshaped. They're kind of like starburst or snowflake like. Aren't they cool? Nice glass beads. They're kind of a heavy duty, they'll sparkle on the tree. And they also came with this glass beaded garland. And that is the extent of my purchases. Now let's do a summary. Okay, so I did a summary of everything that I got. I got 114 pieces and I paid $167.50, so that's $1.46 each of pieces that I can sell. I think that was a pretty good buy. I'll make my money back and maybe five times it, six times it. So thanks for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this and... Thanks for um, coming along on my haul, and we will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you on the next one.